back to Gloria's weekly Bible share. Today we are going to be sharing about Jonah and the fish. One day there was a man named Jonah and people would go to Jonah when they needed help because they had problems. Then one day God spoke to Jonah and said, go to the city of Nineveh because they are very bad and evil. They don't, they don't like each other and they kill each other. So then Jonah, God said, if they don't listen, I will destroy the city of Nineveh. Jonah was so scared that they were gonna kill him. So he ran away to the ship and, and he went to the very bottom of the ship and he's, and he slept down there. God sent a very big storm because he was angry at Jonah and because he didn't listen to him. So then the people on the, uh, on the boat, they tried to pray to their own gods. It was the sun and the moon and then the castle. And then they tried to pray to their gods, but it wouldn't work. So they found Jonah sleeping. And they said, why are you sleeping when this, when there's a fat storm here? And he said that it was his fault. He said, it was my fault. I did this whole thing. Then he said, I ran away from God when God told me to go somewhere. And then he told them to throw him in the sea. And when first they didn't decide that that was a good idea, but he kept on saying that until they finally threw him in the sea. Then God made a fat giant fish swallow him. And then when Jonah woke up, he was in the most disgusting place ever and it smelled so bad in there. He stayed there for three days and three nights. Inside of a fish, had that ever happened to you guys? No, I don't think you guys are that naughty. So then he started to pray on the first day he was there. And on the third day he was there, God finally told the fish to spit him out on the shore. When the fish spit him out on the shore, he finally was, Jonah was finally free and happy. But God told him to go to the city of Nineveh and tell them to stop their evil ways and stop being bad to each other and stop killing each other. So then Jonah, he finally went straight there and he told the people to stop or else God would destroy their whole city. And they knew that he wasn't lying. So he fi they finally listened to him and the king was very sorry for being bad. And everyone, and at the end, everyone worshiped and praised God. So the lesson is, to always obey God and never turn away from it. That was it for Gloria's weekly Bible share. Peace out.